guests today have made history and great memories for all of us on Broadway, and they're going to share those memories and relive some of those great moments with us today. We've got Bobby Morris, who had a small part in Say Darling, and then he had a bigger part in Take Me Along, and then he had a starring part in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and he grabbed off a Tony, and then there was Sugar, and that's history. And then we have Michelle Lee, who was in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying with Bobby, and last season she starred on Broadway in Seesaw. We've got Jack Cassidy, who's been in 28 Broadway shows. Oh. 28. Count them, folks. <laughs> I haven't memorized all the names, but then neither has he. I'll just tell you that some of the biggies will wish you were here. Superman, She Loves Me, and Maggie Flynn. Everybody's humming them. Uh, everybody's humming. Yes, Maggie Flynn, we're all humming that one. And for the last quarter of a century, Broadway's Top Banana starred in High Button Shoes, Top Banana, Dore Me, and when he got time off, he was Sergeant Bilko for all of us, Mr. Phil Silvers. Now... Now, what would a salute to Broadway be without its first lady? Her string of hits like uh, Dubarry Was Lady, Annie Get Your Gun, Call Me Madam, Gypsy. I, I, I mean, I'm only looking at the top of it, too. There are just hundreds of them there. She's entertained millions of people throughout the years. Miss Ethel Merman. Yeah, 
Twenty-eight. 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 Count of twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I twenty-eight. Listen, I said. He must oh. have started when he was ten. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And Very young. Sixteen. Yeah. Really? Sixteen. Wish you were here. I was in a show. Uh, my first show was a show called Something for the Boys. And, uh, Something for the Boys? I was in that. Well, yeah, I you were. <laughs> you were too? I was well, a chorus boy. I never saw you Hello. in it. This is Jack Cassidy. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> oh, you're putting me on. You no, sat on my not. knee. That's so Sunny serious. boy. You want me to <laughs> sing the score? Back in the days of gifty giving, when all God's daddies had greens, I've I always made something. I never knew that you were a chorus girl. I mean a chorus girl. <laughs> Play both parts. No, I, no, <laughs> no well, I've got to tell you. I wouldn't get that, but then it do. Yes. Here in town. Here in town. The returns are in, and I'll oh, yeah. anything you can do. I do my impression of Jackie Gleason. No, not yet. No, no, we say, say those one of Now, I wanted to ask, uh, you know, uh, Ethel, I've seen you perform, and I, you know, I named, uh, I, Barry was a lady in, in Gypsy, and, and I, before that, there were like 15, 20, uh, Cole Porter just 14 wrote, songs. Uh, 14 uh, shows all in all. 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah. Any hits? No. No. <laughs> Remember, uh, anyway. Don't remember Jack Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> no, gee. You didn't get to you in a minute, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't get to me. Listen, Madam Cool, did you ever get nervous when you would? No, fortunately, never. You never did. Never been nervous in my life. No. Not with kidding. me next to it. No, I didn't even know you were in the show. What are you talking I, about? I would be nervous if I knew that Jack Cassidy. I would have been nervous in something with boys if I had known he was in it. Believe yeah. me. Natalie, you were, you were really a very you were very kind, considerate, and gentle with me. You really were. I was. And I, met I your, didn't even know. I met your mother then. Uh-huh. We're in Philadelphia, and John Blondell replaced you. That's right. She took it on the record. That's right. Yeah. He knows all those things. Well, you sure. were. I used really. to drive a car for Mike Todd, who produced the show. I was a chauffeur. Well, you didn't lie, did you? You were really in that show. Sure. <laughs> hey, Diane, I'm, you can I inject a very important note that, that will explain the greatness of Merman. Uh, I did say to her once, she does the best opening nights of her whole performances. Her opening nights are the greatest. When well, we're all in the wings, usually, on opening night, vomiting, I don't know why. <laughs> she does the best opening nights. And I said, why? Why you, Ethel? And she gave the most profound answer, to repeat myself. She said, if any of them out there could do what I'm doing, they'd be up here doing it. That's true. Absol that, and that's true. That, now that, 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 you know, that's a very profound statement. And also, there was another line that's credited to Ethel that's kind of funny. When she said, uh, when they pay $9.90 to see me in a show, they better be nervous, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now it's a little higher than that. Yeah. Now, now that's what the program's called. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the play bill? Just the yeah. play bill. Yeah. Bobby, how many shows have you done? Well, let's see, at last count, I started with the matchmaker, Say Darling, Take Me Along, How to Succeed, Sugar. There's one more. I can't remember. Six. I've done six. Yeah, but you get nervous. Well, most actors, I think, get nervous. It's an exception when I hear someone isn't yeah. nervous. Or Jack but Henry I Fonda. Why, why do you get nervous when you know what you're going to do? You've been oh. rehearsing it for four weeks. There's something, about, weeks, you've there's been, something you've had about opening reviews. night. There's what? something about opening night to me that, night, uh, that I here. have the image of uh, everyone out there going, show me. Mm -hmm. And it's a Well, of very... course, that gives you all one incentive well, to say, all right, I'll show you. Oh, I'm not nervous for long, just about an hour. And, yeah. uh, it's but it's intermission. It's it? intermission, but I, I would say there is an extra, whether it's nervousness or nothing, you're right, it isn't that kind of nervousness, but because you have learned it with everybody else. And but maybe it's tension. You are up. But yeah. I still feel in the way I work with movement and uh, or that kind of thing that I do, it inhibits me. It gets me a little uptight and it mm. stops me from doing something that I might be able to find on a subsequent evening when I'm a little more relaxed. Yeah. Let me, I, may I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Do you, have you ever played nightclubs, Mommy? No, never have. I suspect that... Only when they've closed the Most well. performers would get over, most actors, Broadway actors, and I know it was true of me, you would get over your nerves opening night if you played nightclubs. Oh, really? Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't don't you think oh, so? Yes. Don't right. really take time oh, yes. out to thank God when we should do, you know, take time out to be grateful. Every day. I'm grateful for these three things in the following order. I don't have to go to school today. <laughs> I hate it school. I don't have to fly. I've flown all over the world, especially during the war. I've even flown with Sinatra 
That's like being in darkest Africa. <laughs> and I don't have to play the copa. <laughs> Three most grateful things I can think. That's really? Yeah. Hank Club? I have to. Well, I'm only going by me, Phil. I, I agree well, with you about. Uh, I don't think you're any very of anything handsome. Anything and you, the women in the front row look up your trousers, and that's yeah. fine. <laughs> but you see, I gotta make it on fun. And when they're drinking, and you're an idiot enough to get up in front of people who are drinking and eating, yeah. you gotta expect it. Why are they gonna pay for my song? Here's a mystery I don't understand. You have... Las Vegas, yeah. greatest audiences in the world. They, they, they're so attentive. Same people to the Copa are yeah. blithering idiots. <laughs> Isn't that funny? They, they don't... I finally found out why I think. They don't know each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so they can't yeah. communicate. That's right. They watch the actors. That, but it is true when you're in a theater, they have come to see you. When they have come to Las Vegas or they've come to the Copa, the Vegas is better, but when they've come to the Copa, they've come to see each other, check out what they're wearing, and they don't really care, and the, and get it off if it isn't all that great. But now, when you did, the, you did the How to Succeed Together. Yes. And when they started to cast the movie, yeah. weren't you sure that they were going to put Cary Grant and Elizabeth Taylor in the part? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not at all, because the type of musical and how to succeed is, is sort of a uh, uh, convoluted uh, movement style and uh, co a comic kind of movie. It isn't like The King and I. Or, no, don't or, they usually do that? They can't yes, I'm talking it. about that in, in the type of movie that, 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 that How to Succeed was, that, that I don't think, uh, I don't know who they would have got to do it. I must yeah. disagree with you. I don't think they come. That's not true of, of Ethel, and it's certainly not true of Phil, and more so for this lady, but uh, they essentially don't come to see the performer, unless that's what they come to see Frank Lesser, what score he's written. They used to come to see Josh Glogan. They come to see a Rodgers and Hammerstein show. And shows it. So they go to see a Hal Prince show because they know it's going to be quote a success. You think so? I think they well, go to see the performers and in the property. Don't I you think, think everyone has a combination? Sure. Uh, well, that's not true of nightclubs. I mean, when your name is up there, they're going to see you. I thought we got off the get subject. Yeah. Well, well, I, I just thought we were talking right. about uh, uh, when they make a movie. One point I did want to make because I think before Jack sings his song, I want to say that I think Ethel should have played the Ethel Murmur properties on the screen. I agree. Well, you're very sweet to say that. Well, that's the truth. Well, you know, well, well, this is the thing. They give you the routine, you know, that uh, you're not uh, you're not box office you're not for picture. I wish I played picture. your roles on the screen, Ethel. But I have, I, I, get, listen, I think you could have. Yeah, anything after, you after something for the boys, you can do anything. <laughs> We're going to be right back, right after this. Oh, it's a lead. <laughs> has gone over to sing her song. I thought we might as well talk about her a little bit. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's not safe to leave, is it? No, you know, when I, I said she was the queen, she is. I mean, nobody has ever had the history of Broadway hits that she, and the people who wrote songs for her. Yes. Everything's coming up, roses, roses, everything's coming up, Oh, y'all. 
Oh, well. That was that, wonderful. That was just I would have dope. stood up, Ethel, but you didn't remember me from when I was 16. <laughs> oh, I can, well, you used right. to mind. Who's Maybe next? Your knee. <laughs> Bobby. Is I'm Bobby? next? Yeah, you're next. I'm going to follow <laughs> Ethel. I'm not going to do that. No. I can't. No. No. I, oh, come please. On. No, Bobby. 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 Come on. 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 You're a light comedian, darling. Yeah. 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 darker. <laughs> that is the, for daytime television, that is the singular most thrilling moments I've ever seen that. Thank you. I know, and and you haven't even heard Jack yet. Jack's I mean. <laughs> Next to what Bobby's gonna do. But now, no, no, now Bobby's gone for a moment. All the luck, Donald. Yeah. I just, uh, I just, uh, <laughs> let's, no, let's talk about Bobby a little bit. You know. Do the skating I'm, number. Huh? No, let's talk. Let, really, let's talk about Bobby a little bit. I want to find. <laughs> I want to talk about Bobby a little bit when he goes up, because the first time I. Bobby who? Bobby who? <laughs> Big moment, please. It's okay. Oh, now I, they tell me they want me to ask you. Why is she wearing a cap? Huh? That has nothing to do with Bobby, please. I'll answer later. Give this Bobby. time to Bobby. I think Bobby. Bobby. an early marriage saves her. Yeah. <laughs> May I say something? <laughs> spending a lot of time, oh. so they'll forget how wonderful Ethel was. Talk among yourselves. <laughs> go ahead. Thank no, yourself. Can I introduce please. You want to introduce yes. Bobby? Yes. Okay, but first we have to tell him about this number. But all right, go ahead. Go ahead and introduce Bobby. All right, I will say it in all sincerity, and I mean it. <laughs> I've seen this man open Thank you, three shows. And a supermarket. And, <laughs> and I have to say, if you've never seen this man on a stage, you're missing a, an unusual treat, because he's is dynamic. True. He is a treat. He is dynamic. <laughs> Not going over there. I'll tell you the something. That's the most marvelous toupee I've ever seen. Yeah, isn't it great? Thank you, Phil. No, no. Whenever I see anybody with hair, I say it's a toupee. Yeah. You, had, you had a wonderful line about hair. You thought it was unsanitary. Yeah, I right. said that someplace. I yeah. Hair, very unsanitary. You've seen me before. I've seen you before. I know. You. Oh, Bobby. I, he's getting. I'll tell you about the song that Bobby's got. You worked with Bobby in How to Sing. Oh, Sing. yes. And the, and the song that he's going to do? Yeah. I wanted to do that song today, but. Yes, well. They uh, let Bobby do it, so, yeah. um... Well, you wore a hat. He, of you course, is not a singer. <laughs> yeah. He's not? Oh. No, he's yeah. not. This and is all helping Bobby but, a lot. Uh, Bobby actually was was just one of my the greatest experiences in my life was working with Bobby Morrison had to succeed very honestly I learned I learned probably everything that I know about the stage from that man well that's why you're I pushy <laughs> all the luck Bob the, See every, on you. every show has a showstopper and Bobby Morris stopped how to succeed every single night stopped it cold at the 45th street theater with this song now this is you have to understand that in the story he plays j uh pierpoint pierpont Pier 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 that's right i'm sorry i forgot the name bobby it's don't a difficult name all right. all right all right j pierpont finch right yeah now this is a love song that he would obviously have been singing to his love of the life of his life and he is he's singing it to j pierpont finch himself <laughs> Is Bobby Morris singing his Tony Award winning performance from How to Sing Now there you are. Yes, there's that face. That face that somehow I trust. It may embarrass you to hear me say it, but say it I must. Say it, I must. You have the cool, clear eyes of a seeker of wishes. Yet there's that upturned chin and that grin of impetuous youth. 
Bobby? Yes, that I know. Was, Michelle? I don't remember it. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, I never do. No, you don't? No. You're my kind of performer. I know, you can understand and what I mean. You know why? I... Because the balcony gets a fair shake with you. Ah, thank you. Yeah. That's just That's great. great. Thank you. Do, do you remember when, when you auditioned for a show, any of you? Do you remember? Oh, yes. When, yes. Do you? All of them. All Truly. Of them. I didn't audition. No, you never auditioned? I, did. I, would... I didn't audition for a show, but I have auditioned. I was working, and I was in the Brooklyn Paramount, and uh, Vin Fridley was casting for Girl Crazy, which was the first show I did, and Ginger Rogers had already been signed as the star of the show, mm -hmm. and he, he had heard about this gal singer at the Brooklyn Paramount, mm -hmm. and uh, he came over and, as we say, caught my act, and I guess he liked me, and taken up to see George Gershwin, which was a, a thing in my life I'll never forget. Sure. And not only was I in awe of meeting Gershwin, I was in awe of the apartment building he lived in up at Riverside Drive and 72nd Street. I'd never seen anything as big as that in my life. Oh. I went in, you know, and there was the great Gershwin, and uh, he sat down, he played three songs, and he said something to me which I'll never forget as long as I live. He said, if there's anything about these songs that you don't like, I'll be most happy to change them. And the three songs were I Get Rhythm, Boy What Love Has Done to Me, and Sam and Delilah. And I wound up getting the part in the show. You were kidding. So I really never auditioned. George Gershwin said, yeah. You can change. And you never auditioned. Yeah. Those two, yeah. You can change it. Uh, I've you never heard anything. Not a, a nod. Would you never change a note in a Gershwin song? No, but he said you could, though. He said, no, no, you no, he said, if there's anything about these songs that you don't like, I'll be happy to change, to change them yes. for you. Yes, and then he gave me a picture after I opened, yeah. which I treasure. I have it at home, and it's, it's George at the piano, and it says, to Ethel, Lucky is the composer who has you singing his songs. Oh, That's what a cool. yeah. thrill. One of the funniest auditions I know of, we, we all got together to help. Burlesque was a great fraternity because nobody was bigger than anybody, that bigger, you know? Yes. Like you had a few weeks ago, uh, 
And that was on yesterday. Ann Corey. Yeah, what memory is that? Oh, my gosh. I didn't know her with her clothes on for a moment. Then I dug it. <laughs> well, anyway, we had a comedian in Burlesque, a real heavy six. He since passed on. His name was Jack Diamond. And he was a real rough guy and very sensitive, strangely enough. And he was to audition for Kiss Me Kate, you know, the two detectives. Shakespeare. Yes. Brush up your Shakespeare. Brush up your Shakespeare. And he was worried so about his audition for the late Cole Porter and the people involved in the show. He said, I gotta sing for them. And we said, we don't, they don't care how you sing. They just want to know, can you carry him out? He said, I know, but I never sang. So God rest his soul, I keep digging up people. Rags, rags, and then I rehearsed him in this yeah. way to do it. He walked out on the stage in this empty theater, and it's frightening to have to audition. And in the dark, sits the composer, the producer, Cole Porter, and Jack walked out, and they loved him right away. He was perfect for the part physically, you see. He said, gentlemen, I am a very sensitive man, and I've never sung before. I can sing. But I don't want to embarrass you or myself. Please. Now they're listening. What is this guy talking about? He says, I will audition. If you like what I'm doing, stand up and I'll continue my audition. If you don't like it, stay seated. I will just walk out of the theater and we'll both be spared of this embarrassment. <laughs> and they laughed. They said, go right ahead, Mr. Diamond. He nodded to the pianist and he said, oh, say, can you? <laughs> I told him about it. I never yeah. told people that story. Oh, I love you, Rex. What a funny uh, man he was. Oh, Rex is in Panama Hattie. Yeah. 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 He was one Hattie. of the sailors in Panama yeah. Hattie. That's right. Michelle Lee home. is going to be an old lady for the time oh. she gets to sing her song. Yeah. She's still in town? She's here. Yes, yeah, she's here. And she's been back there preparing. <laughs> and she's getting nervous. And uh, now that she's about to sing her song, tell, tell us a little bit about it. Well, Michelle Lee, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> You know, what can I say about Michelle Lee? I mean, I think uh, we did How to Succeed for two years. On, we did uh, How to Succeed for two years on Broadway, and I've seen her in other shows like Seesaw. And to me, she's one of the most dynamic and fun and full of exuberance on the stage. And Can't working with her is a great thrill. And I think you're all going to love her voice, and I love her. I'd love to see you get a break in pictures. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me tell you what Howard Tomlin said. She's pretty enough to stir up the wolves in New York and Rome, and her energy will remind you of a young Ethel Merman. Here she how about that? Mm. Uh, Here she is going singing a here. song <laughs> from Seesaw, Michelle Lee. Ah. Mm -hmm. You gave the man your number and the man calls. And he seems a little nervous and shy. You don't make him shyer and nerviser. You help him out, at least to try. Or he's just gonna say goodbye. Which is exactly what he said. Goodbye. When it comes to men, do I ever do what's right? Any year, any month, any morning, afternoon, or night. If there's a wrong way to say it, a wrong way to play it, nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong way to do it, a right way to screw it up nobody does it like me i've got a big loud mouth i'm always talking much too free if you go for tact and manners better stay away from me if there's a wrong way to keep it cool the right way to be a fool
Thanks, Michelle. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Got you. the job. You got the job. <laughs> we were yelling. Everybody was yelling. Okay, you got it. Get off. <laughs> and she thought we were saying, take it off. You know. But, no, I don't think you're a. Young, excuse me, Donna. I don't think you're a young. Aaron I think you're a young James Franciscus. No, Tarantino. Tarantino. Oh, you did it. You did it. I was going to hate you, yeah, Jack. Take oh, your hat. She wouldn't be. Everybody he wants to get in the sick bed. They Everybody are. wants to do comedy that can't. Uh, <laughs> guess what part I played on television? High button shoes. I played that man's part. I must have been pretty good, Phil, to replace you. How many you. years after? Oh, I would not even dare say that I and where did equal you, you in Paramus. Oh, there. <laughs> I got still think Rudy Valley's a kid, yeah. uh, I, I got it. One, one thing what was going on here. I was talking, I was asked Ethel when we were off camera. I said, were you ever the flop? And she said, I got out of a show that didn't make it too well. And she named the name of the show, and he said... I was in it, Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe that's why I got out of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, when I tell you, I swear, the day I picked the newspaper up, and I was in a tailor shop, and I vividly remembered, and I opened the paper to pick up my suit, and I said, Miss Merman's leaving that show? I'm in another flop. <laughs> I had 13 in a row. 13 flops. Have you ever done Broadway? Have I ever done? Well, I, I was close. I, I played the Paramount. And, and, uh, you know, that, on, it's on Broadway. Oh, sure. My mother used to take me to see you. I'll... <laughs> for your number and we'll talk about you a yeah. lot. I have, we're not going to stand I up either. such yeah. a crush on you and Kay Kaiser, I can't... In what order? Yeah. Yeah. All right, in what order, dear? That's it. Well, now, Phil won't have anything to, won't do anything, I won't have anything to do with him. Uh, and what else shall we say about Jack Cassidy? Jack, no. Jack Time Ca a Magazine called Jack Cassidy the Cat's Whiskers Dipped in Cream. Now, what do you suppose that means? That's good, isn't it? That's Cat's great. Whiskers nice. Dipped in dipped Cream. cream. Yeah. And Q mm -hmm. magazine. Whip You're going to love this, Phil. Call it sour cream. cream? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's sour oh, cream. Funny, That's funny, Jack. Funny. That's good. Well, the Q magazine called you We're the musical. We're trying to think up things to say, Jack. Uh, yeah. You want us to throw it in here? Yeah. Uh, we'll... Jack who? Jack. <laughs> We're going Listen, down. Jack Cassidy will now sing. Where is Anything. Anything. He's <laughs> right. Anything his little heart desires. Just sing, Jack. Yeah. Jerry Bach and Sheldon Harney. She loves me, and to my amazement, I love it, knowing that she loves me. She loves me, true, she doesn't show it. How could she, when she doesn't know it? Yesterday she loved me, now today she likes me. And tomorrow, tomorrow, oh, my teeth ache from the urge to touch her. I'm speechless, or I mustn't tell her. It's wrong now, but it won't be long now before my love discovers that she and I are lovers. Imagine how surprised she's bound to be. She loves me. Mm, of her, isn't that a wonder? I wonder why I didn't want her. I want her. That's the thing that matters. Matters. <laughs> They're improving daily. Yesterday, I liked her. Yesterday, I loathed her. Bah. Now, today, I love her. Oh. And tomorrow. Delicious tingling. I'm trembling. What the hell does that mean? I'm freezing. That's because it's cold out. But still, I'm 
incandescent and like some adolescent. I scroll on every wall I see. And there are some songs we didn't get to scratch the surface of some of the tunes we'd like to do, but there's one we just have to do um, before we do. Bill, I love you. I always have loved you. I, 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 you uh, thank you for being here. Ethel. Thank you, Diana, for having me. Oh, thank I you. I loved it. Bobby. And I love you, too. I love you. I love you. I just yeah. can't tell you what a I swell know. time I have. I know. I know. I'd rather do this I than know. watch days of my life. <laughs> Tell you, I would tell you how much I love you, but I know you're going to tell you later. <laughs> no, Bert. <laughs> and Michelle Dunn. Ah, thank you. you. Really. And we have a song that we didn't get to do. Michelle doesn't love you. Poor Judd is dead. <laughs> Michelle, yes, she did. And we're not going to do that. Okay. We're going to do a song, and Ethel's going to lead us in this Poor song, Judd is right? Dead. What a good girl yeah. Yes. Hey. Okay. Oh, my God. Right. One of the greats of the world. Right. Thank you, Phil. A very important note that that will explain the greatness of Merman. Uh, I did say to her once, she does the best opening nights of her whole performances. Her opening nights are the greatest. When well, we're all in the wings, usually on opening night, vomiting. I don't know why. <laughs> she does the best opening nights. Yeah. And I said, why? Why you, Ethel? And she gave the most profound answer to repeat myself. She said, if any of them out there could do what I'm doing, they'd be up here doing it. That's true. Absolutely. That, and that's true. That, 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 you know, that's a very profound statement. And also, there was another line that's credited to Ethel that's kind of funny. When she said, uh, when they pay $9.90 to see me in a show, they better be nervous, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now, now that's what the programs cost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just the playbills? Play yeah. yeah. Bobby, how many shows have you done? Well, let's see. At last count, I started with the matchmaker, Say Darling, Take Me Along, How to Succeed, Sugar. There's one more. Can't remember. Six. I've done six. No, but you get nervous. Well, most actors, I think, get nervous. It's an exception when I hear someone isn't yeah. nervous. Or Jack but Henry Fonda. Why, why do you get nervous when you know what you're going to do? You've been oh. rehearsing it. You've there's got four about weeks. There's you've been, something you've about previews. opening night. There's what? something about opening night to me that night, uh, that I here. have the image of uh, everyone out there going. Show me, mm -hmm. and it's a. Well, of very... course, that gives you all one incentive well, to say, "All right, I'll show you." Oh, I'm not nervous for long. Just about an hour. 
And yeah. uh, uh, but it's an omission. It, it's an omission. But I, I would say there is an extra, whether it's nervousness or nothing. You're right. It isn't that kind of nervousness, but because you have learned it with everybody else. And but maybe it's tension. You are up. But yeah. I still feel, in the way I work with movement and uh, or that kind of thing that I do, it inhibits me. It gets me a little uptight, and it mm. stops me from doing something that I might be able to find on a subsequent evening when I'm a little more relaxed. Yeah. Let me, I, may I ask a question? Sure. Do you, have you ever played nightclubs, Mommy? No, never have. I suspect that... Only when they've closed the Most level. performers would get over, most actors, Broadway actors, and I know it was true of me, you would get over your nerves opening night if you played nightclubs. Oh, really? Oh, I don't oh, think so. Don't you think oh, so? Yes. Don't Let really? me take time oh, yes. out to thank God when we should do, you know, take time out to be grateful. Every day. I'm grateful for these three things in the following order. I don't have to go to school today. <laughs> I hate at school. I don't have to fly. I've flown all over the world, especially during the war. I've even flown with Sinatra. That's oh. like being in darkest Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have to play the copa. <laughs> Three most grateful things I can think. That's really. Yeah. Club? I have really? to. Well, I'm only going by me, Phil. I, I well, agree with you about. Uh, I don't think you're very anything handsome. And you, the women in the front row look up your trousers, and that's yeah. fine. <laughs> but you see, I gotta make it on fun. And when they're drinking, and you're an idiot enough to get up in front of people who are drinking and eating, yeah. you gotta expect it. Why are they gonna pay for my It's a sorry. mystery I don't understand. You have... Las Vegas, yeah. greatest audiences in the world. They, they, they're so attentive. Same people to the Copa are yeah. blithering idiots. <laughs> Isn't that funny? They, they don't. I finally found out why I think they don't know each other. <laughs> <laughs> Just I would have dope. stood up, Ethel, but you didn't remember me from when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could, well, you're used right. to my Who's being next? on your knee. <laughs> Bobby. Is I'm Bobby. next? Yeah, you're next. I'm going to follow <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No. I can't. No. No. I, oh, come please. On. No, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. 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 Bobby.
Huh? That has nothing to do with Bobby, please. I, well, I'll answer it later. If you want. Give this time to Bobby. 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 I think an early marriage saves her. Yeah. Bobby. May I say something? <laughs> We're spending a lot of time, oh. so they'll forget how wonderful Ethel was. Talk among <laughs> yourselves. Go ahead. Make yourself. No, go ahead. Can I introduce Please. Me? You want to introduce yes. Bobby? Nice okay, but first we have to tell him about this number. But all right, go ahead. Go ahead and introduce Bobby. All right, I will say it in all sincerity, and I mean it. <laughs> I've seen this man open Thank you, three shows. At a supermarket. And, <laughs> and I have... You know, so they can't yeah. communicate. That's right. They watch the actors. That, but it is true when you're in a theater, they have come to see you. When they have come to Las Vegas or they've come to the Copa, the Vegas is better, but when they've come to the Copa, they've come to see each other, check out what they're wearing, and they don't really care, and, uh, and get it off if it isn't all that great. But now, when you did, the, you did the How to Succeed Together. Yes. And when they decided to cast the movie, yeah. weren't you sure that they were going to put Cary Grant and Elizabeth Taylor in the part? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. Because the type of musical that How to Succeed is, is sort of a uh, uh, convoluted uh, movement style and a uh, comic kind of movie. It isn't like The King and I. Or, no, don't or, they usually do that? They yes, I'm about talking it. about that in, okay. in the type of movie that, 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 that How to Succeed was, that, that I don't think, uh, I don't know who they would have got to do it. I must yeah. disagree with you. I don't think they come. That's not true of, of Ethel, and it's certainly not true of Phil, and more so for this lady, but uh, they essentially don't come to see the performer, unless that's what they come to see Frank Lesser, what score he's written. They used to come to see Josh Logan. They come to see a Rogers and Hammerstein show. And shows it, so they go to see a Hal Prince show because they know it's going to be, quotes a success. You think so? I think they well, go to see the performers and in the property. Don't I you think, think everyone has a nation? Sure. Uh, I, I, well, that's not true of nightclubs. I mean, when your name is up there, they're going to see you. I thought we got off we the subject. Yeah, no, well, I, I just thought we were talking right. about uh, uh, when they make a movie. One point I did want to make, because I think before Jack sings his song, I want to say that I think Ethel should have played the Ethel Murmur properties on the screen. I agree. Well, you're very sweet to say that. Well, well that's the truth. Well, no, well, well, this is the thing. They give you the routine, you know, that uh, you're not uh, you're not box office for picture. picture. I wish I played picture. your roles on the screen, Ethel. But I have, I, I, guess, <laughs> I think you could have. Yeah, anything after, you after, after something better. for the boys, you can do anything. <laughs> We're going to be right back, right after this. Oh, it's a lead. <laughs> has gone over to sing her song. I thought we might as well talk about her a little bit. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's not safe to leave, is it? No, you know, when I, I said she was the queen, she is. I mean, nobody has ever had the history of Broadway hits that she, and the people who wrote songs for her. Yes. Urban
of the Broadway musical, Miss Ethel Merman. <laughs> Another job that you hope at last will make your future forget your past. Another vein where the ulcers grow. Another opening of another show. A gentleman won a Tony Award, Mr. Robert Morris. Nightclubs and a Tony Award winner, Mr. Jack Cassidy. Broadway's top banana himself, Mr. Phil Silver. your fingers and hold your heart. It's curtain time and away we go. Another opening, yes, another opening of another guests today have made history and great memories for all of us on Broadway, and they're going to share those memories and relive some of those great moments with us today. We've got Bobby Morris, who had a small part in Say Darling, and then he had a bigger part in Take Me Along, and then he had a starring part in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, and he grabbed off a Tony, and then there was Sugar, and that's history. And then we have Michelle Lee, who was in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying with Bobby, and last season she starred on Broadway in Seesaw. We've got Jack Cassidy, who's been in 28 Broadway shows. Twenty-eight. Count them, folks. <laughs> I haven't memorized all the names, but then neither has he. I'll just tell you that some of the biggies were Wish You Were Here, Superman, She Loves Me, and Maggie Flynn. Everybody's humming them. Everybody's humming. Yes, Maggie Flynn, we're all humming that one. And for the last quarter of a century, Broadway's Top Banana starred in High Button Shoes, Top Banana, Dore Me, and when he got time off, he was Sergeant Bilko for all of us, Mr. Phil Silvers. Now... Now, what would a salute to Broadway be without its first lady? Her string of hits like uh, DuBarry Was Lady, Annie Get Your Gun, Call Me Madam, Gypsy. I, I, I mean, I'm only looking at the top of it, too. There are just hundreds of them there. She's entertained millions of people throughout the years. Miss Ethel Merman. Twenty-eight count of twenty-eight. 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 Listen, I said. Must have started when he was ten. Yeah. And then start. Very young. Sixteen. Really? Sixteen. Wish you were here. I was in a show. My first show was a show called Something for the Boys, and. Something. I was in that. Wait, you were. You were too. I was a chorus boy. I never saw you in it. This is Jack Cassidy. Oh, you're putting me on. You sat on my knee. That's Sunny so boy. You want me to sing the song? <laughs> Back in the days of gifty giving, when all God's daddies had greens, I'm I always knew something. I never that you were a chorus girl. I mean a chorus girl. <laughs> well, I'm personal. <laughs> I want you to do I can, I can play both parts. No, no, I've never <laughs> 
No, well, I've got to tell you. I wouldn't hit that, but then it can. Yes. You're in town. You're in town. The returns are in, and I'll oh, tell you. Anything you want to hire. Oh, well, I'd like to do my impression of Jackie Gleason. No, no, no. No, no. We save, save those one of them. Now, I wanted to ask, uh, you know, uh, Ethel, I've seen you perform, and I, you know, I named, uh, I, Barry was a lady in, in Gypsy, and, and I, before that, there were like 15, 20, uh, Cole Porter just 14 wrote, songs. Uh, 14 uh, shows all in all. 14? Yeah, 14. Yeah. Any hits? No. No, no. <laughs> Don't remember Jack Cassidy. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no gee. You in a minute, don't yeah. oh, you didn't get to me. Listen, Madam Cool, did you ever get nervous when you would? No, fortunately, never. You never did. Never been nervous in my life. No. Not with me next to it. No, I didn't even know you were in the show. What are you talking I, about? I would be nervous if I knew that Jack Cassidy. I would have been nervous if something went boys if I had known he was in it. Believe yeah. me. Uh, they, you, were, you were really a very. You were very kind, considerate, and gentle with me. You really were. I was. And I, met I your, didn't even know. I met your mother then. Uh huh. We're really? in Philadelphia, and John Blondell replaced you. That's right. She took it on the record. That's right. Yeah. He knows all those things. Well, you sure. were. I used it. to drive a car for Mike Todd, who produced the show. I was a chauffeur. Well, you didn't lie, did you? You were really in that show. 